Hi guys, uh, good morning. So, shall we start our session? Do you hear me? Anyone, can you please respond? Can you hear me? Okay, right. Yeah, thank you. So, let us start. Yes, today topic is uh, Hadoop architecture. That internal architecture we will discuss. Okay, Hadoop multi node cluster architecture. Hadoop multi node. Multi node cluster architecture. Topic multi node cluster architecture. Yes, multi node. Yes, multi node cluster architecture. Let us see. Yes, Hadoop network. In Hadoop network, there are there are three machine roles. Okay. Three machine roles. Three machine roles here. Yeah. Three machine roles. One is client client machines. Clients. Yes, client. Yes, client machines. Okay. Next master. Master machines. Okay, next slave. Slave machines. Three roles. Client machines, master and slave. Let us see one by one here. Yes, this uh, all these machines here. There are five demands, right? Yes, there are five demands. So there are there are five demands in Hadoop cluster. There are five demands running in Hadoop cluster. Five demands running running in Hadoop cluster. On Hadoop cluster, right? Hadoop cluster. There are five demands running in Hadoop cluster. Okay. See, what are we did this setup? Just our setup is standalone machine. Only one machine, all the demands, that five demands running on same machine. But real-time production environment is different. That is different. Different demands running on different machines in the cluster. Let us see the topic here. There are five demands running in Hadoop cluster. So first one, yes, first one, yes, anyone can list out what are, the, what are the demands running? Can you tell me, can anyone can speak out? Yes, what are the demands running here? Anyone can list out demands? Hello? Only two things, five demands. Okay. Yes, uh, yeah, five demands. Oh, fine, well and good. Next, others just if ping me in chat box that list. Yes, what's happened? Others, no one pinging. Yes, you forgot it. I think I, I supported everyone. Yes, everyone set up. Yes, except one or two guys. I supported everyone. Yes, even last night also three guys. You in support for setup. Yes, tell me list of no demands. What are the list of demands? I am not asking only one person. Just only Chaitanya is responding every day. Others not responding. I am expecting. Yes, of course, others are responding. But rare case. Yes. I'm expecting answers from others. Just you type in chat box if unable to speak. If unable to speak, just you type in chat box. Okay, chat box, right? Okay, Akanksha. Okay, fine. Fine. Next others. Chaitanya, Akanksha, next others. Yes, are you sleeping there? Hello, guys. Are you sleeping? Just connected to laptop. Yes, connected to just simply you connected to uh, this go to meeting and sleeping there, right? 
Just don't watch like a movie. What is prerequisites? I, I did not understand prerequisite. What are the demands running in cluster demand? There are five demands. The list of demands, demands I'm asking here. List of demands I'm asking. How many demands running? JPS, output of JPS I'm asking. So what is output of JPS? JPS. Just give me output of JPS. Tell me output of JPS. Okay, Abhishek, okay, fine. Abhishek, okay, fine. Next others. Now I want, I want only output of JPS. Yes, you have seen JPS output, right? Then why not? Yes, ping, just ping in chat box. I'm expecting. Yes, uh, what's happened to others? Abhishek, okay. Yes, Akansh, okay, Chaitan, okay. Priya, what's happened, Priya? Yes, Pranay, Sudhir, Sumit. Sumit, no response. Yes, you're offline. I think you're sleeping. Yes, sir. If you're responding, I'm the first person to feel happy. Yes, your response. Okay. Okay, your wish. If not responding, I can't do anything. Okay, yes. Now there are five demands. First one is name notes. First one is this main demand here, name notes. Okay, next secondary name notes. Name notes. Secondary name notes. Secondary name notes. Okay. Next job tracker. Job tracker. Yes, these are our one dot expression. Yes, if it is two dot expression, then that will be changing here. Okay. If two dot expression, that will be changing again here. Some demands will be changing. Name notes, secondary name notes, job tracker. Okay, right? Yes, next data notes, data notes, next task tracker, task tracker. Here are the different demands, task tracker. Yes, name notes, shortcuts. You can say name notes and then Yes, secondary name note, you can say shortcut of anyone can understand it. You shortcut, secondary name note. Okay, yes, job tracker, JT, yes, uh, data note. Okay, DN, data note. Yes, you can call shortcut also. Shortcut, everyone calling like this only. JT, job tracker like this. Okay, name note, second name note, job tracker, data note, and task tracker. Right? So there are five demands. Five demands in Hadoop cluster. Yes, where these demands are running? What's your task of name node? Yes, what is the purpose of name node? What is purpose of second name node? Job tracker, data node. Yes, what is the roles of different demands? All the roles one by one discuss. What is name node role? What is secondary name node? What is job tracker? What is data node? What is task tracker? One by one we should discuss. Okay, right? Yes, here to understand this purpose only. First, I explained about setup. Yes, in setup. Yes, now you know, right? Yes, in dev, how do you put a uh, name node, second, the five demos, you know that. Okay, JPS output getting this file. That means you know that how do is having five demos, right? Now you can understand. So, without setup, if I try to explain this one, may not be understanding. For that reason, I have already explained about setup. Right, okay. Yes, now here, how that setup is working. So what our setup is done, right? How it's working internally. That is nothing but architecture. Communication between, yes, communication between all the demands is nothing but architecture. Just architecture, it's a communication. Hadoop architecture means it's a communication between different nodes, different demands of Hadoop here. There are five demands. This is a communication system, right? That communication system is nothing but it's a Hadoop architecture. Hadoop architecture. Okay, let us see. Let us see one by one here. Yes, yes, there are mission roles. Client mission, master and slave. Let us see. Yes. Slowly I will explain. Yes, it will take some time to understand. Okay. Slowly I will explain here. This is okay. Yes. One second. Insert text box. Yes, job tracker, 
क्या प्रकट निर्माण नेक्स्ट नीम नोट जयमान नेक्स्ट इज नीम नोट नीम नोट नेक्स्ट इज सेकेंडरी नीम नोट सेकेंडरी नीम नोट राइट सो जॉब ट्रैकर जॉब ट्रैकर नेक्स्ट नीम नोट नेक्स्ट सेकेंडरी नीम नोट दिस थिंग्स इज फाइन राइट यस नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्लाइंट Yes, client is here. From the client, request for job submission or data loading. There are two different things. Yesterday we have discussed about data loading. When using put command, you can load the data into H step first, right? Which is data loading request. No, data submit job submission request or data loading request. Either this or that. Okay. Yes, data data loading request or job submission. Okay. So there are two parts. Data part is nothing but HDFS. Next job submission is a map list part. There are two parts: HDFS and map list part. Okay, let us take two things here: HDFS part and map list. This is map list part. Next is HDFS part. Okay, let us. This is client. So client, client, client. We say client not here. It's a client. From the client request is job submission. Okay, yes, called a distributed data processing here. Distributed, distributed. Yes, data processing. Distributed data processing. It's a map produce. Distributed data processing. It's a map produce. So this is nothing but it's a map produce. It's a map produce. Yes, yes, it's a map produce. Map produce using for the data processing. It's a map produce part. Okay, right. Next, distribute data processing, distribute data storage. Second part is distribute data storage. Nothing but HDFS. It's the HDFS part. Okay. So distribute data process, data storage, distribute data storage, distribute data storage. Nothing but the HDFS part. The HDFS part. So there here there are two parts here. So one is distribute data processing, another distribute distribute data storage. Data processing, data storage. Right. Okay. This is okay. Yes. So request is like this. So request from the client. From the client, request. Yes. Request is for jobs or the map list part request here. Okay. Or data loading request. Data either these are from the client request client mission from the client mission. See, as a Hadoop developer, you have to work on client mission. Okay, this is client mission. From the client mission, request to go to this Hadoop cluster. Now here job tracker, name note, and secondary name note. Okay, here this part, this part is called master. This whole thing is a master, it's a master. This part is master. So this is client. Next, this is master. This part. This part is master. This is called as master. Yes, they are master demands. So these are master demands. These are mas. This comes in the master here. So this is master. One second. This part is master. So this is master demands. All these comes in master. So this is mass. These all are master demands. So these all are master demands. These are master demands. Okay. Yes. Job tracker, name note, and second name note. These are called as master demands. That okay. Next slave. Yes. How do we say master and slave architecture? Next, what is slave? Next slave missions. Next slave missions, slave. 
SR slave machines, data notes, data notes, and a class tracker. Data notes and class tracker on slave machines. On slave machines. One second. This is your batch. Yes, I'll share you this one. Okay. Now slave mission, the slave one. Slave one. Next slave mission. Slave two. Next slave three. Next slave four. Next slave five. There's no limit of slaves. Multiple slaves. Okay. So that the slave machines. Okay, let me take the next page better. All this. Yes, slave. These all are slave machines. Yes, slave. Slave one. Slave one. Yes, what is master? What is slave? I'll explain. Slave one. So next. Yes, slave two. Slave one, slave two. Yes, next is slave three. Slave three. Next is slave four. Okay, like this, multiple slaves here. Like this, multiple slave four. Yes, slave five, slave six, like this, multiple slaves here. So, slaves, many number of slaves. Maybe 100 slaves or 200 slaves, maybe 10,000 slaves also. Slaves. Slave n. Number of slaves. These are called slave machines. Yeah, this part. This part is slave. This is slave. Yes, actually, all our servers, everything is server. In Hadoop, everything is server. But in servers, master servers and slave servers. Okay. So these are called a slave care. These are slave care. These all are slave care. So these all are slave. These are slaves. These all are slaves. Okay. These are slaves. All these are slaves. Comes on the slaves. So these are master. These are slaves. Next, it's a client. Client. This whole thing is called a Hadoop network. In Hadoop network, for client, one machine for the client purpose. Yes, maybe sometimes multiple clients also. So one client or multiple client one, client two, client three, multiple clients also it can be sometimes. Okay, let us take only one client here. Client, this is client mission. Next master, this the master. These are actually computers. Each computer on the Hadoop network called as node. This is client nodes. These are the master nodes, master nodes, master nodes. Now these are slave nodes. Slave notes, right? Slave notes, they are the slave notes. These all slave notes. Next, they are master notes. It's a client notes. Okay, right? This whole thing is called as Hadoop cluster. Client, master, and slave. All this, this whole is a Hadoop cluster. This whole, whole thing is a Hadoop. This whole thing is a Hadoop cluster. This whole is called as Hadoop cluster. This whole thing is Hadoop cluster. So client, yes, master. Yes, in master, there are three, three here. Job tracker is running on one computer. Name node is another computer like this. Different, yes, different things and different computers. Name node is another computer. Second name is one more computer. See, in our setup, all are running the same computer. Right? In our computer, all running. That is single node setup. It's a single node setup. Multi node cluster setup is different. The topic at the end we will discuss. This is not a stage. Multi node cluster setup. That is the ending topic, last topic, final topic. Okay, one Sunday I will take that class. Yes, that setup class minimum four hours request. So the Sunday class. Any Sunday. So job tracker, name notes, second name notes. Right? Okay. Next, these are the slave notes. See on slave machine, these are what their programs, right? JPS. When it says JPS, what is output getting? Name node, second name node, job tracker. So these are the programs running in background, right? Demon means background running process called as demon care. Demon means background running. 
background running is called as daemon there are five daemons in hadoop means five five programs running in the background right get the different programs running at different machines yeah this is name node is on one computer okay yes name node is running on one computer secondary name node another computer job track another computer next slave on every slave node data node task tracker data node task tracker data node task tracker on every computer suppose there are 100 computers all and all 100 computers running data node program and task tracker program they are java programs actually developed in java okay so that the demo the programs running right see in our setup all the programs running in same computer right one computer standalone system it's a single yes it's a single node cluster in single node cluster all five running in same computer but here in production environment it's a production cluster in production cluster here job tracker is one machine one computer name node is another computer second name is one more computer like these are master so three nodes for master right remaining rest of these nodes are rest of the nodes rest of the nodes for complete slave nodes the rest of the nodes are called slave nodes right okay this number of slaves depends on data size of data okay master for plus three nodes are is mandatory three nodes are required for master it's mandatory yes data nodes these slave nodes how many slaves are required that depends on data number of slaves depends on data next minimum how many slaves are required the topic will discuss wait minimum three slaves are required minimum three slaves are required so that minimum world why three slaves are required we'll discuss just wait i'll explain okay yes next master these three nodes these three comes from master so these three these three, three are mandatory here next is minimum three slaves are required six next yes six nodes minimum six nodes client optional sometimes using client may not be using may not be using maybe may or may not be using this whole thing is color hadoop cluster okay there are three mission roles in hadoop cluster see all are connected same network the clan connections all are connecting same network all are in the same network they're all computers in same network yes i'll show you data center yes our company data center Yes, that uh, picture is there in document. Data center. Yeah, this is data center. Okay. Yes, rack one. They are called racks. Rack one, rack two, rack three, rack four. See, go to supermarkets. In supermarket, you can see racks like this, right? I think observed in supermarket, right? Racks in racks and some shelves, right? All these in there, keeping items, right? They will keep items, right? All the items, same but don't think like a supermarket racks they are specially designed racks very costly this is racks like this yet they are cells they are the computers here computers placing see in rack in supermarket rack there are some cells first uh, first one second like this one by one right in that keeping all the items right maybe biscuits maybe some items something like this one by one keeping like that computers now computers keeping one by one okay computers yeah is clean and neat okay yes this was the racks like this all the racks like this okay ranks all the racks get in this computer one computer to computer three like this all the computers keeping inside of this all the computers yeah this data center has 12,000 computers this our photograph of our our company data center this is okay yes because on our side they will maintain all that photographs Yes, all these the, the pictures yes uh, for purpose of company yes in that site they have everything okay the world yes the world next up yes, yes. 
financial retail solutions Leverage. ATM marketplaces, D world. Franklin Retail Support Company, Paris. Yes, he is our boss, Don Hauser. Yes, this person. Okay. Yes, these are office. Yeah, these are front office. Yes, logo, the G world logo. Yes, sir. Uh, the data center, see, you said this is data center. Yes, sir. Uh, where I worked, yes, location. Yes, North Canton, we have a state near Cleveland. Yeah, this is North Canton office. Yeah, this parking area. Yeah, this is where I worked for two years. Yeah, this is uh, near Cleveland, North Canton, very small village. Very good environment. This this office I worked. Very big data. Yes, very big data center is inside this. Okay. Yes, it's a big area in this. I think yeah, it's a sales actually. It's a sales maintained by D World here. Yes, more than thousand acres area. This is very big one. This is more than thousand acres. It's a big sales. Yes, sir. Just walking from parking place to my working place, sir, minimum 10 minutes will be taken. Almost to, yes, half kilometer distance, parking area to office. Very big one. Yes, in this office, almost to, yes, daily 3,000 cars will be parking. Yes, there, everyone used to travel in car. No, by walk, everyone car. Okay. That is around three to four thousand cars in parking. Very big company. This is very big thousand acres area. Very big company. This is okay. Very big company. This is now it's closed because they are night hour. The office hours. See so this address Mayfair Road, North Canton. 
we have a stitch. This is. Yes. Yeah, this is data center. Okay. Yes, here all the keeping all the computers here, keeping computers. So each rack maybe yes, the depends on design, uh, depends on requirements. Yes, each rack on each rack may be keeping 50 computers or 100 computers. Generally, here 100 computers rack, very big rack, 100 computers, 100 computers like this. All the computers now interconnected, right? Now, here Hadoop cluster. Yes, this is Hadoop cluster, right? Hadoop cluster. Suppose here, yes, three are master, right? Master nodes. Three nodes are mass node suppose three nodes three comp just only three computers maybe one computer here one computer. you may be using this first one using for three computers remaining are slave nodes maybe here 50 nodes next year 50 next year 50 here 50, like this 50 50 all are slave nodes right see master purpose only three computers three computers enough less space enough three computers maybe using this area for three computers okay remaining all the rest of that area Rest of that area using for slave computers. Remaining all this, maybe 100 up to 100, maybe 300 or 500 cluster, right? Yes, what's a cluster capacity? We'll discuss now. Same topic we are going to discuss. So, all the computers facing rest of the racks, rest of the racks, right? Okay. So, this is rack. This is rack. They are nothing but racks. Okay. Yes. So, these computers inside of racks, right? all the computers inside of racks, all the computers. Okay. So this is one job track is one computer, namely is one computer, second name is one computer. So for master purpose, three nodes are mandatory. Three computers, nodes is nothing but computer. Okay, three computers are required. Okay, client, maybe one computer or two computers, something like this. Client. Okay, right? Suppose your laptop. Suppose, yes, in company here. Yes, this is your laptop. Yes. Your laptop from your laptop you have to connect to client. This is your laptop. Okay, on your laptop you working here. Okay. From your laptop, you have to connect to client. Client is a part of Hadoop cluster, but this is your laptop. Okay. Maybe developer. This is developer. Developer. Developer sitting in Hyderabad. But cluster where? Yes, it's Chicago. Yes, our cluster is Chicago. Yes, we are from Hyderabad. We connect to this client here. Okay, from the client communicating with this Hadoop cluster. See, from the client, between client, or name node directly come. No, that is not what. No, don't have that access. Okay, yes, the developers has to communicate with the cluster from through the client. Developer, okay, developer. Suppose Hyderabad developer here. Suppose Hyderabad admin is there. Suppose admin, okay, admin, okay, from the Hyderabad admin, Hadoop admin, Hadoop admin. Okay, to the client, to the client, right? Every request simply, yes, your developer request or admin request goes to client, client, right? From the client, request submit to cluster. Okay, client is the interface, client machine. This is client, it's interface between you and Hadoop cluster. This is called edge node, edge node. It's the edge node. Yes, through the edge node, you can communicate with the cluster. This is complete cluster, total cluster. Client is also part of cluster. Client is also part of cluster. Actual cluster is master and slave. Actual cluster connects master and slave. Actual cluster is master and slave here. Yes, first your request goes to client. Your request goes to client, right? Okay. Yes, client. Yes, from there. Yes, communicating with this, right? Client. Yes, what happens here? Okay, let me start Hadoop also client. Yes, client. See, now you are you are you are in Hyderabad. So for example, here my system from Hyderabad. I am connecting here. Okay, see, for this, just I'll open putty. Here, yeah, this is my Windows machine. From my Windows machine, just I'll open putty. After that, now I should do client IP address. This client machine IP address. 
the client mesh IP address. So simply my putty will connect to client right? Using putty, I'm working on the client machine. Yes, from the client machine, submitting request to the cluster. That request may be job submission request. First one, job submission, job submission, job submission. Okay, next, second one is data loading request, data loading. Either this or that, job submission or data loading request. Okay, you see, job sub, this is job submission request, job submission request simply that request goes to where here. job submission request the job submission request goes to job tracker okay next data loading request data loading request data loading request simply goes to yes data loading request data loading request goes simply goes to name notch okay right one second let me remove this is data loading request data this is data loading request that request goes to name notch data loading request okay Job submission request goes to job tracker. Simply here, job submission request simply goes to job tracker. It's a job submission request. Job submission request to job tracker. Data loading request goes to yes, name node, right? So, yesterday, here, yesterday, we discussed about put command, right? Put command we discussed. Yes, yesterday put command we discussed here where that put command executes that put command running and client machine put command running and client machine where is data on the client machine? data is on the client machine data is in the client machine that means data loading into cluster simply here okay yesterday put command taking data from the linux file system loading into hdfs right A linux file system to hdfs so client emission and client emission data the data loading into hdfs client emission from where getting data into client emission here from where getting the data here from where getting the data for this purpose some database servers okay so for example let us take some application here suppose some application suppose let us take flipkart application or some D word application, whatever it is here, that application. That application generating data instead of database, right? So Flipkart application daily transaction generating database, right? That database data has to load into Hadoop cluster. Database data has to load into Hadoop cluster. Okay. So database data. So database data, first of all, it goes to client mission, client nodes. Data, first of all, goes to client mission. Get this data how that move into client machine for this purpose using some gateways here maybe using some gateway okay using gateway that gateway taking data from database gateway that gateway gets gateways using linux shell scripting or embedded c language using developing some gateways that embedded c developers and linux case linux developers they will develop the gate gate that is not our duty gateways by different person right so in this database database Yes, database data transport a client mission gateways you can use or else yes in in hadoop there's a tool called scoop this is scoop tool is available scoop yes scoop tool will take data from the database okay taking data from database okay and sending to this scoop tool using scoop scoop is tool in hadoop this scoop tool is available yes we are going to work with scoop tool Okay, scoop tool taking data from database and loading to HFS. So this, these are data, right? This data, first of all, getting to clients. Okay, next, gateways, yes, sometimes can be FTP also. Yes, gateways, for example, FTP, using the FTP also, we can download the files. Using FTP, using FTP, the data getting into client emission. So first data getting into client emission, right? Okay, see, now host name. Yes, let us, this is client emission this is client mission okay this is client this is client mission okay yes ls client mission client mission okay now here i have config so this ip address 
so client dimension ip address not a yes not flew and mark yes mask ticket client mission now i'm connected to client mission. yes client mission yes http one user yes password is one connect just connect it to client okay yes where is my windows my my laptop in hyderabad right for me hyderabad connecting simply here yes sir uh, i can connect to my production or not but there is not permitted okay i have to connect to the vpn okay yes i can't use now okay yes in my working hours i can use yes after two o'clock i can use okay yes now okay this is right so this is uh, a working the stp one means connected to client okay so connected from this as for example as a developer as a developer as a developer connected to client mission connected to client mission right yes on client mission so this is data on the client yes, okay now it's not necessary for me yes let me close this one i'm not using this one now client this is right okay change settings yes appearance change yes it will take a lot of time to explain complete cluster topic okay slowly i have to explain otherwise lot of confusion with that i have to explain that real time setup right now this is my windows machine my windows machine i have connected to client at usa client just assume that the client this is adobe cluster at esa esa data center get the data the client is the client mission connected to client mission how to connect using cookie yes this is our work at regular work even you also tomorrow once you joined in company how is cookie okay using putty connect to client mission then working on client mission yes client mission. let me check the data instead of client mission yes file one find there some data is there file one file two okay right now here data first of all client mission we should get the data into client mission right how to get the data into client mission suppose this hyderabad windows system in this windows system some data is available that data yes i should load to client mission so yes out load to client mission for example let me take some data for example some data not here Suppose let us take some data file. For example, this is a data file. So this is some data for records. Okay, data file may millions of records from records like this. Now this data should move to that client machine. So how to move here? One way WinSCP. WinSCP or FTP also can use. I'm using a WinSCP. Yes, let me start Hadoop server also. Start all dot sh. Start all dot sh. Yes, GPS. Okay, sometimes getting some mean like this. Yes, sir. APS. Yes, now got the information. Yes, if not, that information not all saying like a main. Okay. Like the for yes, server running, Hadoop server running here. Okay. Now see, yes, putty using putty. Yes, now what is now? We are my yes, we are my yes, I'm a HCP one user. Now GPS, I'm checking from this. Using putty connected, I am checking how do server running or not. JPS. Yes, using putty, I am connecting to machine which is at US location. See that it's running, right? How do server running? 
I'm checking are those are running or not. Oh, correct. Yes, running. Yes. Now, this is client. This is client here. Connected to client. Connected to client here. Now, I'm uploading that to client machine here. Uploading it. How to do? Yes, using here this tool here. Yes, we'll we'll see real time environment also. Yes, in cloud I'll explain that. In cloud environment we'll see here. Okay, host name, the type address, IF config. So 192.160.0.7. So this IP address of server system. Okay, see IP address of server system. The client machine will be given to you. IP address of client machine will be given to you next your user ID password for you user ID. Yes, HTTP one password is HTTP one. Okay, login. Login now connecting. Yes, connect now I am transferring data to client machine, not a cluster client machine. Okay, client machine. Yes, close. Yes, in window. Yes, in this. Yes. So for D drive. Okay. So the D drive. EMP dot txt file. This is just to move to client mission. Yes, move done. After that, no LS. I'm checking on client mission. See that EMP dot txt file there. Okay. Yes, EMP dot txt. Cat EMP dot txt file. Yes, using cat command, I can see the file data. See this is a file data. So this is time client mission, right? Client mission EMP dot txt. Right? Now this data we should load into Hadoop cluster. So how to load here? Hadoop. Yes. FS hyphen Hadoop FS hyphen put get that EMP dot txt file. Yes, into slash home slash no not home. Yes, in Hadoop yesterday we discussed it. Yes, we discussed how to create directories. Already some directories were created. Suppose MN dot directory created or sample. Okay, fine. Sample direct folder create sample. Moving to sample that EMP dot txt file moving to sample. Yes, more right now. Let us check it. Hadoop. Okay, FS. Okay, hyphen ls slash sample folder. Yes, check that sample folder. Can't see that emp dot txt. Emp dot txt. Right? Okay. Yes, data uploaded. Yes, data. So what's happened? Okay, first data. Yes, using using WinSCP. Yes. So here one second. First, day, how it work? That cluster. Yes, my machine from this my machine I have moved data into client image using what WinSCP. Here I have used WinSCP. So you get tool is WinSCP, right? Yes, this is your real time job as well like this. Win WinSCP. Using WinSCP data moving. Okay, using WinSCP, just data moving, right? So WinSCP. So the WinSCP data moving, right? So the WinSCP just data moving here. Using WinSCP data mode, right? Data moving into client, right? Client machine mode. From your machine, WinSCP takes data from your machine and loading into cluster. Yes, client machine, right? Data modes. WinSCP, right? Now here, using putty, I am working with client machine. Putty, I am using putty. Right, okay. Now here, so ls, okay, fine. Now emp.txt, this is loaded, right? How it's loaded? See, from the client machine, yes, loaded, right? Data loading request. So how it's loaded here? Using put command here, I have used put command. So here from from my machine means from my machine to how do client this is a how do client this is a client. This is my machine is a client for the this client, right? Okay, this client this client is part of Hadoop cluster. For this client, my machine is a client. So from my machine, the data moved to client here. From the client machine, the data has to load into actual cluster. This actual cluster. Okay. Master and slave. This is actual cluster. This is actual cluster. Yes, now put commands. So you can put command taking data from the client machine loading cluster. That's it here. 
right okay yes so between client mission between client mission my mission i have used minus cp okay right data loaded the data has to move to actual cluster the data has to move to actual cluster for this purpose yes for this purpose using some putty what using putty that putty putty takes data from the client mission loads into cluster right fine okay right? so this is uh, yes just missions mission sequence next communication system we should discuss okay fine now here here data nodes here there is a data node data node next task tracker data node task tracker data node task tracker on every mission there is data node and task tracker data node task tracker so here also data node right data node and task tracker okay data node and task tracker like this every mission there is data node two demands running on this okay data nodes now what happens here in this here data nodes every data nodes see every data nodes communicates with name nodes this communication communication just communicates every all the support 300 nodes 300 nodes communicates with name nodes every data node communicates with name nodes okay that mechanism called as heartbeat mechanism the topic tomorrow we'll discuss heartbeat mechanism next job tracker communicates with name nodes job tracker always communicates with name nodes okay next secondary name nodes always communicates with name nodes yes from name nodes yes taking backup data okay yes second name nodes also communicates with name nodes name node is a central controller all every node has to communicate with name nodes everyone communicate name job tracker communicates with name node second name node communicates name node case all these slaves yes in slaves this data node this data node this demand will communicate name node this demand will communicate okay the data node demand will communicate data node demand will communicate all data node demands these things will communicate right okay next here this is task tracker task tracker what happens here task tracker task tracker this task tracker yes will communicate with job tracker simply just communicate with job tracker this is task tracker communicating with job tracker simply okay task tracker yes task tracker always communicates with job tracker task tracker communicating with job tracker simply okay task tracker communicates with job tracker okay. data node communicates name nodes here right okay second name node communicates name node here job tracker communicates with the name node like this next client client the job submission request simply goes to job tracker data loading request goes to yes name nodes right this is what is happening the cluster okay just see that the cluster architecture simply just only that the physical setup is like this now how it's working internally that i should explain the topic tomorrow will continue tomorrow complete class is this explanation only here okay just i'm saving this is saving this is a uh, that setup will be like this the setup architecture this is one second this is setup i'm creating snapshot for this yes this snapshot i'll send in a group of course i'm saving this is this file already saved this is for control yes saved already that file yes 
take me time. Yes, many things starting on system, same system. WhatsApp on this VMware on this Hadoop server running. Many tools are started. Let me start some tools. Yes, that is set up. Okay, about set up actually each and everything we should discuss. About name node we should discuss. Next, job tracker, second name node, task tracker, data node. Each and every demand we should discuss one by one. So the topic tomorrow will continue. Okay, tomorrow class complete class is for this. Yes, if not complete tomorrow, even Saturday also will take it this week though. Right, yes, any doubt from your side? Yes, so let us wind up for today. Tomorrow will continue. Yes, I think no doubt for today, right? Yes, tomorrow will continue. So let us wind up for today. Yeah, tomorrow topic, tomorrow, what is job submission means? What is data loading request? All the topics tomorrow will continue. Tomorrow will discuss. Okay, all the topics tomorrow will discuss. Thank you.